Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. Tonight we're doing an in-depth review of the D1 Milano Silver Ultra Thin. So let us begin. <laughs> In my previous video, I did an unboxing of this watch, looked at it briefly, and gave you my initial impressions of the watch. If you haven't seen that video yet, I put a link to it in the description below. Tonight we're going to look closely at this watch, put it on the wrist, and see what we really think about it. Before I begin, what's on my arm? I am wearing the Stova Antia very architectural watch, especially with the grid pattern on my shirt. Alright, so let's flip this camera around and begin the review. Alright, so here is the D1 Milano Silver Ultra Thin. This is a quartz watch. It is all stainless steel. Sapphire crystal. All right, so I will begin with the bracelet and then I will move toward the watch and then we will put it on the wrist. All right, so it has a butterfly clasp. There's just a friction here, just locks into those. There's a D1 Milano overhang on that piece there. Nice and solid click, pretty stiff. It's nice and hidden. You don't really notice it at all. I like the uh, angles, the, the bevel that's cut into the sides there. Everything is brushed. looks really cool. Look at that extreme taper. That is so great. So the pins in here are kind of friction pins. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. On one side there's a little um, kind of a little notch to it. So basically you just push them out and once that little piece there is free, then it just easily slides out. And then to put them in, you just slide it in there. And the last little bit, you have to kind of, takes a bit of work. I am generally not a bracelet guy, so I'm sure there's uh, technical names for all of that that I am unaware of. But if I can resize this thing for my wrist, anyone can. <laughs> Everything feels really solid. It's not terribly heavy or too light. It feels, uh, just feels good. This is cool. All right, moving on up to the watch itself. On the case back, you see that it is brushed as well. It's super flat. Tons of screws in there. We have D1 Milano on there. The serial number. Ultra thin. Italian design, Japanese movement. So this brand really celebrates their Italian heritage. 
And this being an homage to the Nautilus, Genta was Italian and Swiss. Very cool. And looking at the sides of the watch. You see screw in lugs there. Screw in pins. It's integrated really well. The crown is tiny, itty bitty. I do like that little gemstone on there. Wipe this down a little, sorry about that. This is a quartz watch, so it's not like you're really going to be using this crown very often at all. to turn because it does stick out a little bit there it doesn't pop out very far just a little tiny bit horizontal lines like the Nautilus and it's done really well as you can see here there's applied indices B1 Milano and ultra thin and that's it Those Dauphine hands look great. They look really good when you can see that line down the middle. So they're kind of angled on one side and then down the other side. Uh, in some lights, they look flat and kind of weird. But when you can see that light, it looks absolutely amazing. You'll notice there's no seconds hand. And this thing is dead silent. So when your battery dies, you may not know it. Something to keep in mind. Hopefully it doesn't die and you actually need to tell the time on this thing and don't realize that it's wrong. Man, that is a great looking dial. The brushing on this watch is amazing too. The whole thing is brushed as you can see except for the uh, four surfaces here but it still catches the light. So it's still a very flashy, dressy looking watch. In a sporty kind of way. As for the specifications on this watch, the case is 40 millimeters. It is six millimeters in height, nice and thin. It is all stainless steel, it has a sapphire crystal. The movement in this is a quartz Citizen Miota, the 1L22. The water resistance is only 50 meters though. So it has almost a dress watch amount of water resistance, so not the tough 
sports watch that it looks, more of a dress watch that it also looks like. All right, let's put this thing on the wrist and see what it looks like. Here is the D1 Milano on my seven inch wrist. And this looks pretty great. It is so weird wearing a watch on a bracelet. I think it's been 20 years. I wear everything on like rubber straps, on NATOs, on leather straps. But this is really cool looking. Now I'm kind of weird. I would have preferred it to be about 37 millimeters or so. I feel like this looks pretty large, especially how flat it is and how thin it is. It just kind of exaggerates that 40 millimeters. I feel like it wears more like a 42 millimeter watch or something like that, but it looks amazing. Seriously, that just looks great. That bracelet is so awesome. I love how thin it gets. And just look at it catching the light. That is so cool. I, I'm surprised. I actually really like this watch. So there you have it, the D1 Milano Silver Ultra Thin. The quality of this watch really blew me away the first time that I saw it. It is really great. It looks amazing. It's a really nice watch. And this isn't even my style of watch, but I've enjoyed wearing it. Now, of course, if a Nautilus or a Royal Oak is your grail watch, this will not cut it. But if you're simply after that Genta aesthetic, this is a great option. It's affordable and it's really well built. Thanks for watching.